securing MDM and DC server from external network access using forwarding server. Benefits of using forwarding server. Secures DC server and data within, from unauthorized access. Ideally used if the organization security standards, prevent DC server from being exposed to external networks. How does forwarding server work? The managed devices contact the DC server over the internet, with the communication being facilitated by a NAT server. DC contacts the devices using notification services, which are platform specific. Forwarding server secures this communication by routing inbound communications through itself. Let us see how this is done. There are three steps involved in configuring forwarding server. The first step is to ready the machine which is to act as the forwarding server. The second step is to configure NAT settings on the DC server. Final step is to install and configure forwarding server. Step 1 Prepare forwarding server machine. Expose the machine to be used as forwarding server, by ensuring it can access the same ports used by the DC server. It is usually port 8383. Additionally, ensure the machine can access DC server. Step 2 Configure NAT settings on MDM server. Click on Mobile Device Management tab and select Settings from the left pane. Choose NAT from the server settings. Specify the FQDN of the machine to be used as forwarding server and click on Save. Step 3 Install and configure forwarding server. Click on the Learn More link present on the far right. Now, navigate to the download link and click it to download the forwarding server setup file. Install forwarding server on the machine. Provide the DC server details and click on Validate. If you want to use forwarding server only to route inbound communications and not for services such as the notification server, you can choose to uncheck them. Click on Next. Navigate to the folder where DC is installed. Copy server.crt and server.key files. Paste the copied files on the forwarding server installation directory. Click on Install. Click on Finish to complete the installation. Once the forwarding server is successfully configured, all the device-to-server communication is carried out through the forwarding server.